Hello and welcome to my little hometown of Kells, in the royal county of Meath. Kells was a royal residence, long before it was established as a monastic site in 550 AD. The round tower situated in the grounds of St. Columba's Church is 26 meters high, but sadly the cone cap is missing. There are several high crosses in the grounds. This is my particular favorite and depicts Adam and Eve. Celtic design features with abundance on the crosses. The East Cross remains unfinished, which gives us a valuable insight in how they were constructed. St. Columba's Church stands on one of the most important church sites in Meath. The church has been burned down 14 times in its long history. Many violent acts have unfolded in the shadows of the crosses. Viking raids were a regular occurrence. There are many ancient artifacts strewn around the grounds of the church. This interesting piece of stonework is a rare example of a priest's sundial. A little way down the road from the church is St. John's Cemetery, where many more artifacts can be viewed. Situated at the highest point of the town, is St. Colmkill's House, which was the library, where the famous Book of Kells, was created. The tradition in creating artwork is still strong in the blood of the town's folk of Kells, where many of us are writing our history by continuing to create art today, in print, in painting, music and sculpture. This is a depiction of the goddess Boan, goddess of the Boyne. Another depicts the cycle of the moon and the goddess Luna. And last but not least, the most famous of our crosses, the Market Cross, situated in front of the old courthouse on the Dublin Road, which is now our wonderful heritage center. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.